So the first thing I'll always do is just check my phone. Um, I try not to, but also I'm human, so I do it anyway. And then I will go on Target Show, which is kind of like just German news, try and get some German in my brain. Um, but I'll also check my Instagram, which is Eve Ben X. Actually, you should follow me, lol. Um, and I'll also read my Twitter, like it's basically a newspaper, as if that's giving me all the important news for today. But you can also follow me on Twitter, it's Eve Bennett X. <laughs> and then eventually I will get out of bed, put my Bridget Jones slippers on, which are literally my life, and I love them, and they're the best things ever and get 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 on with my day basically here's me vibing with a towel at quarter to eight in the morning um and then i will head out sometimes i shower in the morning sometimes i shower in the evening today i decided to shower in the morning i was feeling fancy and i also fell asleep last night before i had a chance to have a shower so yeah that's the first thing i do in the morning i think it just wakes you up really more than a coffee does of course coffee is also important but you know what i mean but before I get in the shower, I actually want to have a chat about something that has been on my mind recently. So, let's talk body hair. I've always had a very rough relationship with body hair growing up, to be honest. Um, I have quite dark hair for my skin colour, like for my skin tone. Um, and it's quite coarse and it just is kind of everywhere. Um, and I spent literally all of my teenage years trying to hide it and using like literally any single hair removal method under the sun and just trying to get rid of it and feeling so embarrassed about it. And then as I got older, um, I started to pull my hair out because I used to get really stressed at school, which meant that it started to grow back darker in certain places. And that just is like a cycle of stress. But now I've kind of realized ultimately, ultimately it doesn't really matter. It's my body. I can do what I like if I want to shave my legs. I will, because I'm not going to lie, I quite like shaving my legs, I like the way it makes my legs feel, I like it when you get into bed and you've shaved your legs and you've got fresh moisturiser on and your sheets are fresh, you know, but if you don't want to shave or you only want to shave occasionally, then that should be fine, I don't know why there's so much stress on us growing up to like do it at the right time and do the right thing and I don't know, that there's no right shaving routine. There's no right hair removal routine. If you do want to shave though, honestly, I cannot recommend Estrid enough. So basically what happens is you get your little starter kit like this, and that comes with the razor and two razor heads and the wall holder. And the wall holder is so good because it actually stays up in the shower. It's actually a wall holder that stays up. So you can get a subscription from Estrid either every one, two or three months, depending on how often you shave or if you only shave occasionally. And there are absolutely no strings attached, which means that you can cancel it any time. I know a lot of people are worried about monthly subscription services not being very good for the planet, but their packaging is 100% recyclable and their actual razors are made of stainless steel. So they really are trying to minimize plastic use. And also you get free climate compensated shipping on your order. So you are looking out for the environment whilst also having the convenience of a monthly subscription. It also comes with this really, really cute little travel pouch, which is perfect for putting in your sort of like cosmetics bag when you go away. And also it's 100% vegan, not tested on animals. I mean, look, it's just an all round package. It's quite literally a package in it. <laughs> I really love that, like in the advertising and stuff, they actually show the body hair because you always see adverts for races and women are like shaving like, legs with no body hair on and i'm like well why are you shaving then so i'm really really glad that they're trying to like normalize body hair and just to encourage you to like literally love the skin you're in and everything that's on your skin <laughs> and to top things all off if you guys use my code eve at the checkout literally my name eve then they will also donate a pound from your purchase to the Fawcett Society. And the Fawcett Society, if you've not heard of them, is literally the UK's leading gender equality, women's rights charity, and they're working for the welfare of women across the UK. So literally by putting the code in, you're just donating to charity and you're getting an amazing razor. If you purchase an Estrid razor, do let me know. And also let me know what color you decide because I'm not sure whether I prefer this one or the pink one. Just saying. I feel like they're all really, really cute. Then I will just moisturize because girls got moisturize. This is literally like this one that I got from Edicar, which is a supermarket here, is honestly incredible. And then I will just wash my face and moisturize with Freedom stuff and then brush my teeth very weirdly as I'm doing here. And then the next job is always the hardest job and it's trying to figure out what the hell to wear. And today I checked the weather forecast and everything because I was like, I just have no clue what to wear. It's this weird season in Berlin where it's actually really quite warm but also can get really really cold honestly this day 
I wore a jumper and my like sort of staple trousers and by the evening I had to wear like tights and a coat it was just so bizarre anyway so I went and got changed goodbye hello again um and here's me modeling a incredibly mediocre outfit rather too aggressively but yeah my jumper was from pretty little thing like three years ago it's probably my most worn item of clothing my bralettes from gilly hicks um and my where are my trousers from pull and bear and then i opened the curtains to the most beautiful view ever i honestly am obsessed with this city just everything about it to be honest it's just incredible um and then i made my bed i don't make my bed every morning this is literally like such a lie to be honest um alexa play smooth radio Here's smooth from global Play. and sometimes i do like to listen to smooth radio it's kind of a comfort from home i can't lie um and then i emptied the dishwasher because it was annoying me that i hadn't done it the night before whoa where's my voice gone and I was trying to be really quiet because my flatmate was still asleep, um, which is so embarrassing, which is why I'm being quite quiet now, actually, because it's literally 8 a.m. when I'm filming this voiceover. But yeah, then I reloaded the dishwasher, but it's not full enough to put it on yet, so I'll do it later. And then I made myself a cup of tea in my really, really cute Berlin mug. I did put milk in, don't worry, I just didn't show it on this clip. And then I was just admiring the view. Again, it was a very, well, it started off as a very lovely sunny day. And then I went to dry my hair and I'm just keeping all of this clip in honestly because it's making me laugh like how many weird faces I'm pulling into the camera um I don't really like drying my hair too often but I also really like the way it makes my hair feel so today I decided to treat myself and um it gets really puffy and weird um but also really really shiny and nice so here's me posing for like 20 minutes straight cool and then I went and put a podcast on this is fast yet it's kind of like a news podcast from a German newspaper I love listening to podcasts when I'm getting ready uh, and then I straighten sort of the ends of my hair I don't have to straighten it properly if I've dried my hair but I still need to straighten it a little bit um, and then I just sort of sat and vibed with my cup of tea for a weirdly long amount of time and text my friends back because it was all popping off in the group chat and I can't lie it looks like I'm smiling at a boy's text I promise you I'm not it's me just I don't smile at male's texts ever um, and then I put my watch on put some perfume on this is La Vie Belle by Lancome my favorite perfume ever packed my laptop packed my everything really my life my mask because why not um I mean, what do you mean, why not? I literally have to wear it. It's like a legal obligation. Um, my hand sanitizer and also my lunch. I actually was really good and I pre-made my lunch for most of this week. So I'd like you all to give me a pat on the back for that because you know how lazy I am. And then, yeah, I was ready to go at about 20 past 10 because my work starts at 11 on Sundays. So then I just walked weirdly, aggressively down the street. And yeah, this is my street. Can you believe how pretty it is? But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. If you want an evening routine, which will be a bit different because I have a like different evening routine every day. But if you want that anyway, let me know. If you did like this video, um, yeah, as I said, give it a thumbs up. Why am I just repeating myself? Is it because it's eight in the morning? Probably. This is such a stream of consciousness morning routine. But yeah, I'll see you very soon with a new video. Bye guys.